Maikamora Gaiden, the Demon Darkness, should look pretty familiar to you after having just watched Gargoyle's Quest 2 The Demon Darkness last week. The reason for that is because, well, this is the exact same game. That's right, over in Japan, Gargoyle's Quest 2 was actually released on the Famicom and then the Game Boy a year later. It makes sense too, since the original game was released on the Game Boy. This is technically an enhanced port of the NES version, if you can believe that. From what I can tell, the two games are pretty much identical with a few tweaks here and there. However, this Game Boy version has two exclusive new levels, which have been added and make this actually the better of the two versions. Outside that though, the game plays exactly as it did on the NES. That means you can expect a balls to the wall hard action platformer. It's got RPG elements where you go from one town to the next, from one dungeon to the next, getting more and more powerful as you go. Like I mentioned in the NES version, random encounters are now a thing of the past. What I've tried to do with this video is highlight more or less the first half of the game to show you similar or the same areas that I showed you in the previous video. I know, I know, some of you are probably like, why don't you show the two exclusive levels? Because I want you to go out and buy the game. What I wanted to do here is to honestly show you guys just how similar the game is because it's quite impressive. To be honest, I was actually floored with this port. It looks, sounds, and plays just like an NES game while obviously losing some of the more richer details and color. It's pretty impressive though for a Game Boy game. I know I said impressive about a thousand times, but it is. The Demon Darkness was released in Japan back in 1993 and interestingly enough was scheduled for North American release in July of 1993, but was later cancelled. And now I'm just going to go on a whim here and say that it's probably due to the fact that the NES version didn't sell as much as Capcom had hoped. Now obviously I have no proof of that, but call it a hunch. What I can say though is that this was a real shame that it was never released outside Japan because it would make a lot of sense to all of us who only knew about the Game Boy version. And like I said before, I found that this was always Capcom's sort of experimental game. You know, not only in terms of gameplay, but the fact that the first one was on the Game Boy, then the follow-up was on the NES, and then the follow-up to that one was on the Super NES. So I think if they would have released the second one on the Game Boy worldwide, I think that would have made, well, a lot of sense, like I said. Sadly, Makaimura Gaiden The Demon Darkness has not been released on the Virtual Console in Japan or anywhere else for that matter. It's considered a lost gem now and can be a little bit on the expensive side, coming in at around $60 or so for a complete in-box copy. Now since the Game Boy line was region free, it's extremely easy to play. Just buy yourself any of the Game Boys, pick up the game, and you're good to go. And I highly I highly recommend you do that since it features two exclusive levels, the same fantastic gameplay, and it looks and sounds pretty damn amazing for a Game Boy game. It's also significantly cheaper than the NES game, and yes, there is a lot of text in the game, but you can go ahead and use a strategy guide or a walkthrough and you should be fine. I've got to give a huge shout out to Mortal Porcupine for reminding me about this one. I was content to wrap up the series with Demon's Crest, but instead I had the chance to experience this Game Boy gem for the very first time. It's truly excellent and worth the price of admission. Go hunt it down, and thanks again, Mortal Porcupine.